Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. As you guys all know, Simone Biles and her husband. They were, you know, doing some type of podcast. Can we leave some of these podcasts, child, in 2023? Um, I mean, at this point, I'm going to need, like, Best Buy. When they see folks just coming by and a bunch of podcast equipment, I need there to be an alarm that goes off. <coughs> They're trying to start a podcast. Don't let them. Because it just seems like everybody has a podcast now. And these podcasts are stirring up way more drama then they're even helping, especially the black community. I mean, the 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 male, female, beefing, dynamic. Can can we just leave some of these podcasts in 2023? Everybody does not need a soapbox, especially when you're just not even using common sense and you're just stirring up drama. So I, I'm for real, I'm, I'm burnt up. I remember like five years ago, you literally had maybe 10 podcasts to choose from. Now everybody and their mama got a podcast. It's like, damn, okay. So anyhow, what's going down is that Simone Biles and her husband, they went onto this podcast and it caused a lot of controversy. Um, his name is Jonathan Owens and he plays, I believe, for the Green Bay Packers. Um, he's a safety. And basically he's, he made it seem in this interview from what people were saying that he made it seem like he was the catch, like Simone Biles was running after him. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and watch this together because I have a lot to say, because they're, they're still kind of going in on this couple. And at this point, I'm, I'm starting to side-eye members of our community. It's starting to be a bit much now. So it, it, it piqued my curiosity, you know, so I'm like, okay, that's, 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 a, I, I see what's up. I swiped her and it said we match. So I'm just like, oh, okay, so I'm gonna see what's up. So I go do my workout and I come back and I get like, I have some likes on my Instagram, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this might be. I'm like, okay. So I see what's up, and then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone, and then she messages me on the app, like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a man. This gotta be fake. Like, I don't know. Just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she gotta be good. If yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college. And we didn't have NBC, we didn't have Olympic channels, and we're in camp. We're in camp late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to, you know. So I never would have had a moment to where I would have watched, like, you know. Chuck, I'm gonna let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, man, she she messaged me. This was like a Tuesday, and we 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 were texting back and forth, and then we hung out Friday, man. And um, we couldn't do much as COVID happened, everything was shut down, so. Um, she came through down um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs, so she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So, so you was really the catch in... I always say we the men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did, though. She is did, what you though. said. Because I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, was Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles. Is at, what you're saying. At the time, <laughs> that's what you're not gonna say. That that's what you're saying. I was afraid. I I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah, I'm, man, this my this my third year. You know, I'm trying to. Okay, let me. A, I, oops, sorry, kind of wound it. Like, do you see how messy the podcasters being? Basically saying, so Jonathan Owens, you really didn't want Simone Biles. So I thought that was very very messy. Okay, but we're gonna keep going. I think we left off about here. Um, she came through down um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs, so she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So so you was really the catch in... I always say we the you. men are catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so she really booked you. She did, though. Is she what did, you though. said. Because I, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. So in truth, if I say this out loud, was Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles. Is at, what you're saying. At the time, that's what you're not gonna say that. That's what you're saying. I was afraid. I, I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah, I'm, man, this my this my third year. You know, I'm trying to ah. I'm like, it's kind of early. 
But, you know, like I said, man, it happened when you least expect it. And we hung out, man. It was like we hit it off instantly. You know, we just laughed the whole night. Hold up. Okay, we didn't need the soundtrack of our lives. Okay, let me, first of all, let me say this, okay? Um, is there a special Tinder? Is this where they met? They met on Tinder. Is there a special Tinder for like celebrities? Is there like a platinum, you know what I'm saying, Tinder? Because, you know, the few times I've been on Tinder, I've never ran across the NFL football player. Shoesy white guy sending, you know, dick pics. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, writing shit like, oh, I want to ram it into your tight hole. It's like, what? Like, so, I, I you know, like, where are we meeting? I, I've never just ran across the NFL player. I'm like, all this on Tinder? Okay. So I find the whole situation just, like, just crazy, right? They said it was Raya. Oh, they meant on Raya. What is Raya? I ain't even heard of Raya. I thought they were saying Tinder. Raya. Oh, it's for rich and famous people. Okay, okay, now that makes sense. Because I'm like, the only thing I've ever seen on Tinder is just random peen. I've never just been on Tinder. Okay, so it's Raya. <laughs> Thank y'all for clearing that up. Because I'm like, do I need to buy the Platinum Plus edition of Tinder, bitch? <laughs> like, wait, what are the odds you go on Tinder and meet an NFL player? Okay, so it's... <laughs> I'm glad y'all cleared that up because I was shook. I said, am I using this app wrong? Like, what the hell? But okay, all right, thank you. I feel better now because I'm like, I'm just, I don't know. It's just always just random pee. <laughs> like, like, how did y'all? <laughs> okay, I feel better now. Okay, so what in Tinder? It's Raya. Okay, so it's for rich and famous athletes and, you know, celebrities. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because I'm, I'm telling you, I was confused about this whole thing. I'm like, well, damn. Maybe I need to, you know, upgrade my Tinder package, okay? But anyhow, so a lot of people were mad. They're saying that, you know, first of all, Jonathan Owens is very handsome. I don't think I ever really paid him attention. But he's a very, very handsome man. And so a lot of people are saying that he's sassy. He's giving sassy boy energy. He wants to be the catch. Now, I'm, I'm going to say this, okay? I feel like he was being honest. I don't think there's anything wrong with part of what he was saying because he is young. And he's also an NFL football player. He may not be Tom Brady or Odell Beckham, but he's still in the NFL. Meaning that you know how many damn people are throwing coochie at him. Just, you know, he can't run that fast. Okay, cooch, 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 okay? And he's young, and he's fine. So let's keep that real. So for him, he's like, well, I don't really know if I want to settle down. You know, I'm kind of liking this, you know, NFL thing. You know, he got the little hazel eyes and the dimples. You know, he ain't ugly. So, you know, for him, he's like, well, I don't know. You know, for a lot of women, you know, look at him like he's a catch. So now we have Simone Biles. And so he's claiming he really didn't know who she was. Now, at first, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt because, you know, sometimes if you're not into a particular sport, you may not know. And case in point, y'all might clown me, but I'm not really into UFC, MMA. Um, I, I don't think I've ever really sat down and watched it because I feel like it's just way too violent for, for me. And so, you know, my friend came by and he's really into UFC. Like he's a big UFC, MMA. So he was watching like these highlights. So, and I've never really sat down and watched like any UFC anything, right? So we're watching these highlights and there's some white man. I've never seen this white man a day in my life, never heard of his name. And he is kicking ass. He done knocked somebody out. I thought the man died in the ring. The man was just you know, shaking and shit, convulsing. I'm like, did he die? And he's like, no, no, he didn't die. He's just knocked out because it's just so violent. And so I'm like, well, who is this dude? And he's like, oh, you don't know who that is? That's one of the best MMA fighters. I got to pull up his picture because I can It's His name is Justin. I don't even want to butcher his name. Gathy or something like that. Let me show y'all this tab. So people who are into UFC, y'all know him. Like he's like the one of the best UFC fighters. So this is his picture. I've never seen this man a day in my life. So my thing is, 
I can kind of give him the benefit of the doubt that maybe, you know, he really didn't know who Simone Biles was like that because he was so busy and, you know, unless you're into gymnastics, you may not know. But then, child, you know, the internet, the internet is messy. They started digging in his old tweets. Okay, shout out to all the UFC people here who know Justin. I don't know him. I'd never seen that man a day in my life. He could walk down the street. I would not recognize that white man. But he is doing his thing. He's doing his thing in the UFC. Shout out to him. I know who he is now. He be kicking ass and shit. Very violent individual. So, um, so you know, we watched some of his highlights and, you know, he was just telling me about them. So, again, if you're not into certain things like that, you may, you just may not know. And people can say, oh, it's the Olympics. Not everybody's into the Olympics like that. You know what I mean? But anyways, like I said, messy ass, you know, social media, honey. So, they got the digging. You know, he claimed he didn't know who he was. And they found old tweets from 2012 of him cheering on Gabby Douglas and watching the Olympics. You know, had his popcorn in hand. So he knew who the hell Simone Biles was. He was trying to play it off like, I don't want to gas her head up. I don't want her to feel like she's the bigger star, you know. And I guess I can see that he's trying to play it cool. But I think, you know, from watching, and again, I'm just online. But on my old Instagram page, I told you guys, I followed Simone Biles because I was following one of her best friends who was building custom houses and she does like interior design. And I would always see Simone Biles in her comments. And so I was like, oh wow, you know, Simone Biles seems like a really down to earth person. You know, she's commenting on her friend's posts. So then I ended up following Simone and that's when she got engaged. And the, the girl that I was following was at Simone's bridal shower and all that stuff. So I always felt like their relationship seemed very sweet, you know, caring. And regardless of the situation, I'm rooting for them. You know, a lot of people are saying, oh, these are red flags. He's not shit. And I think at this point, um, I feel like because women find him to be attractive, you got some people who are trying to act like they're really concerned for Simone Biles. But I think a lot of it is like fake caring. You know, like fake concern. Y'all ain't really concerned about that girl. First of all, she's rich. He got money. They're, they're, they're fine. They're both in love. People were dragging her, dragging him. She had to come out and tell people, you know, like, are y'all done yet? Like, it's not that serious. Now, today, I think if she keeps on going on podcasts, it's going to start taking a toll on their relationship. Because this was the latest pie. I didn't even know these two had a podcast. But she went on Kenan and Kel's podcast, and they were throwing more shade at her husband. So let me go ahead and share this with y'all. Give me just a second here. Again, like I said, everybody got a podcast, child. So let me go ahead and uh, play this here. Who do you think is the better athlete in the house? I think we're good at our own sports. We've mm -hmm. tried to pin each other against um, on like difficulty, ability, and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, gymnastics is harder if yeah. he agrees or not. Wow. Yeah, that's um, a that's a nice that's politician a, answer, but here, here's the truth. I'm not um, trying to stir anything I, up in that house. I know your name. Say, you know what I'm saying? That's yes. all I'm gonna say. I, I know your name. You know what I'm wow. saying? So but let's go back. Let's go back to what you just said, which is that uh, gymnastics is much harder. Sounds like this has been a household fight for some time. You want to get into it now? Maybe we clear it up. We fought over it a couple times, and then we we vowed once we got married we wouldn't talk about it again. But it keeps coming up every time. But uh, he has done my workout in the gym, and he could barely do it. And then I went to their He's NFL a lot workout, of shots. and I and it's I a lot of shots. Fire shots, <laughs> fire. Mean, she's doing a lot yeah, of. Yeah, under, yeah. I mean, it's I'm, a lot yeah. of uppercuts being in the NFL, right? Yes. All right, let me come back on the screen. I know I called it the Kenan and Kel podcast. I guess it's Kevin. Sorry. I knew it was somebody with a K. Kevin Hart <laughs> and Kenan's podcast. Um, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Because now at this point, they're trying to diminish this man and his accolades. Again, maybe he's not Tom Brady. You know, maybe he's not the best football player, but it takes a lot of work. And that's what a lot of, you know, inner city youth dream is to make it to the NBA, to make it to the NFL. And regardless if he's one of the top or not, at least he made it. OK, he got the golden ticket. And so them saying things like, well, we know your name. We don't know his name, you know, or trying to when she's just simply trying to explain like, you know, he kind of thought that his job was harder than mine. He tried my workout. He could barely make it. They cut her off before she could say how it went when she tried his workout. You know, so I don't know if y'all are seeing the big picture here. 
I, I feel like social media and these podcasts are low key trying to destroy a young black family. Okay, young black couple. These are newlyweds. These are, you know, two people who've come together in holy matrimony. We keep, we always talk about black love and, you know, we need to see more black men dating black women and vice versa. You know, people are acting like he's just some bum on the street. Like he, you know, is a fry cook. He, he has money too. So I, I don't know. I just don't like the fact that they keep trying to tear them apart. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. I feel like a lot of this is not real concern. A lot of this is either jealous people who want a Simone for themselves or jealous women who really low key want him because he's fine. And they feel like, you know, um, Simone may not be on his level because I see a lot of that. Oh, he thinks he's fine. He's a pretty boy. Um, and what y'all are low key saying when you guys are saying that is almost saying like she doesn't deserve somebody as fine as him. Like, I don't, I, I'm maybe, am I reaching, am I reading too into the, to the lines? I'm not feeling a lot of sincerity when it comes to people's commentary about Simone and her husband. I'm seeing like a lot of underlying digs and a lot of people feeling away. But these are the same people who claim that they want, you know, to see black love and stuff like that. You know, people can say that they're, that they're seeing red flags, but you know, even little red flags aside, I'm seeing a lot of people who are trying to throw shade and throw salt at their relationship. And it's not coming from a genuine place. A lot of people trying to act like they're giving her, you know, warnings like, oh, this is a red flag, sis, run. They want you to run Simone so that way they can slide up in there. Let's keep it real. A lot of these warnings are fake as fuck. A lot of these people are trying to throw daggers and salt in the relationship. Because again, if she came out and said that it's it's just us, we're walking together, you know, he he married her, they obviously something see something in, in each other. She's not a baby's mama. Ain't this the things that people complain about all day online about black women? Oh, protect your womb, don't just become a baby's mother, make sure you get the ring before you give them a kid. She's done all that, and then people are crying at the fact that, you know, he may have, I don't think he articulated himself well in that interview. I think he was kind of making it seem like he was more the catch. But I also feel like the reason why he's saying that is because, again, they're both young, right? So they're on social media. They're seeing the comments. And no man wants to be known as Mr. Such and Such. He doesn't want to be known as Simone Biles' husband. He's his own person. He has his own thing going on, you know? Like, imagine if somebody was asking Iniko you know, trying to compare Iniko and Kevin Hart's career. that They would never do that. So why are they doing this to this black woman? Who's the better athlete? And then when she tries to explain, y'all cut her off and well, we don't know his name. It's just all these little dags, excuse me, all these little digs at him and his career. And, you know, they're planting seeds to make her even look twice at her relationship, the status. I just don't like it. I don't like it. You know, and these are supposed to be people who know Kevin Hart knows how hard it is to, you know, be in a marriage and have the public eyes on you. So I just, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling that. I think that a lot of people are giving all this unsolicited advice to these two young people. Let them figure it out. You know what I'm saying? If she's happy and that's who she chose to marry. And like I said, they seem genuinely happy together to me. But I also feel like, as a man, he has an ego, right? And he doesn't want to be known as Mr. Biles, Mr. Simone Biles. So I think part of him trying to make it look like, you know, he's the catch and, you know, she drove to see me 40 minutes. Why are people acting like that's such a bad thing? Half y'all would drive an hour to go get some dick. Let's keep that real. Let's not act like Simone's the only woman who done drove out her way to go meet somebody. Like people get on the internet and try to act so brand new. A lot of y'all done drove across state borders to go get some puss and some peen. Don't you judge her for going 40 minutes to go meet her now husband. We're not going to do that. I'm not going to let y'all attack Simone Biles. If y'all ain't talking about her hair, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are always dragging that girl. Let that girl live. She's a gymnast. She got damn routines named after her. She's unproblematic. You don't see her involved in no drama, none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't like that. People be online trying to act brand new. Y'all don't drove across. Y'all don't went from Wisconsin to Minnesota and back trying to get some peen and puss. Leave her alone. Okay, so what if she drove 40 minutes to meet somebody? She was feeling them. And I'm sure the next time he drove to meet her. 
You know, so I just, I don't know. I just, I, I saw a lot of fake, fake concern, fake caping. And, you know, that's the thing when you have your relationship in the public eye, you got to watch that because everybody don't really be happy for you. You got a lot of miserable people on the internet, bitter Bettys, okay, miserable Mitches, and they don't want to see other people happy. So they go out their way to pick, 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 pick things apart. What if somebody said to Kevin Hart, well, your name is bigger. We don't know what the fuck Eniko does besides be your McRib and get cheated on, allegedly. You know, so it's like, I just, I don't understand. I just don't like it. I don't, I don't like all the negativity, you know, being aimed at this young black couple because nobody does this to, you know, any of these young white uh, scarlets. Taylor Swift has a new man every year. Who's the other one? They be out here just, you know, going from dick to dick. Uh, Ariana Grande. And people don't sit there and question them. And, and, and you know, people aren't writing red flags all over their comment section. They go from man to man. So, you know, let her live her life. You know what I'm saying? If it works out, great. If, you know, if down the line they end up separating, that's their business. But I just, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. I just feel like it's a bit much. And especially with this other podcast, people just, you know, going in and, you know, Kel or whatever, Keenan, you know, just kind of throwing daggers. They got enough, especially when you're young, they're a young couple and, you know, marriage is for life. Well, it's supposed to be. So let's not throw any more salt on this situation. Let them figure it out and, and come together. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't agree that people are really trying to give solid advice and warnings. No, a lot of y'all want to slide up in that man's DMs because y'all think he's fine. Let's keep that real. And some of y'all feel away. That Simone Biles was able to pull him. I, that's really what I'm getting from some of the, you know, the, from some of the energy. Because I feel like if Simone Biles was a spicy Latina or racially ambiguous, nobody would even look at that dynamic like that. Nobody would look at it. But because she's a black woman and some of y'all are even making insinuations like, you know, like he, he looks better or how did she pull him? I feel like that's why a lot of folks are bothered. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, you know, he saw something in her outside of that. Her personality and everything else. And, you know, so what if she's the bigger athlete, the bigger star? That is who she chose to marry. So I'm here for that young sister. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm here for her. Um, I love their wedding pictures. You know, the same people who want to talk mess. Again, y'all were talking about, you know, on her own happy wedding day. I remember I did a video when they got married because people were clowning her hair. So y'all always pick this girl apart. But again, if he was with a Lori Harvey, y'all, uh-huh, go, go on, Lori. Lori, she's another one who hops from pin to pin. She's grown. She can do what she want to do. She's not out here creating, a, you know, a bunch of babies and stuff. But y'all praise Lori Harvey all day. But y'all are picking apart this woman and her husband. Let them live. Let them live. So that's, that's my opinion on the situation. I'm happy for Simone Biles. I'm happy, you know what I'm saying, um, for Mr. Biles. I'm like, let me not be Jonathan Owens. It would not be messy. You know what I'm saying? So I just, I just didn't like it, you know? So good luck to them and everything. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.